here's the problem. I see a lot of anger in America between Democrats, Republicans, Christians, and non-Christians alike. And you know, Jesus had something to say about that. He said, you have heard that it was said long ago, you shall not murder. Uh, for anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you, if anyone is angry with his brother or sister, he is subject to judgment. Again, you have heard anyone who says Raka will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, but anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fires of hell. So, here's what we got going on. There's people in both parties and all sorts of people, you know, calling each other names. And the Bible clearly, expressively speaks against that. It's okay to oppose somebody's opinion. It's okay to withstand their point of view. It's okay to tell them that you think they're wrong. But when it crosses over to name calling, it's just like back in in the uh, in Cain and Abel's time. Sin is crouching at your doorstep. 1 Peter 3.10 says, if anyone would love to see good days, he must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from the deceitful speech. Uh, he must turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers, but the Lord's face is against those who do wrong. Now the problem is not just some political stance. There's more to it than that. You know, it's it's a me, myself, and I problem. It's a problem with pride. People don't ever want to be wrong, especially in this country. You know, even if, you know, they're they're mostly right, you know, no, none of us wants to humble ourselves and admit where we have fault, faults and shortcomings. And, you know, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before the downfall, as Pro Proverbs says. So I think it's time for America to get on their hands and knees and admit to God the ways we have failed, you know. There is no reason for name calling. There is no reason to be divided as we are. I mean, really, I mean, we're just acting, a lot of people are just acting like a bunch of children because they don't, they aren't getting what they want. Yeah, and ultimately, the Lord is in charge. And uh, I think, you know, it just crosses the line when I see anybody, you know, call a person a name, idiot, stupid or any of those other things just because they don't like the other person's point of view and this should definitely not happen between Christians especially not it starts with the church once people see the church and the people of Christ acting in such an honorable way they'll have nothing bad to say uh, I mean even if they try to find way bad things to say you know Pete Paul says or Peter it was said live your lives in such a way among the Gentile Gentiles, though they be those who accuse you of doing evil, they'll be put to shame because of their slander. And I think it's time for, you know, it starts with the body of Christ. You know, we're the representatives of Christ. We should live our lives in such an honorable way that they have no reason, they can't find any reason to accuse us of any wrongdoing. That way, you know, when they bring the accusations, they won't have anything do we we can't give them ammunition you know that that's just the way it is you know so god bless have a good night